You know, I really appreciate Math for America's support in doing this because I'm really passionate about getting students out of the classroom once in a while. The kind of questions we're going to do today that you're going to see are ones that, you know, a mathematics teacher could be doing anyway in the textbook. So they're, they're you know, oftentimes you're going to see with what we're going to do, it's straight out of the curriculum from different grade levels. It's just that it's done in a different setting. And it's also giving kids exercise too. I came to New York a few months ago and planned all this out. And basically I just went for a walk and I looked for things. And I took lots of photographs. This caught my eye because the first thing I wondered was just what it was for. But anyway, I looked at this and I just a math question for me is I thought about the angle here. So just, you know, estimate what is the angle? What, what do you think? Is it like 50 degrees? Is it 50? Is it 90? You know, what is it? And you could take a photograph from the side, print it out and give it to students and they could measure it. You know, and they could just see how good their estimation skills are in looking at it. There's another question in here too about the angle at the bottom. You know, how is it related? So the angle up here, if it's 20 degrees, what's the angle down here? You know, and of course, you know, math teachers here will know that they add up to 90. So it's gonna be 70 down there. Well, we'll head on down here. I like having scavenger hunts where, you know, students have to search for things and they have to find something. Um, and then I have some mathematical questions, you know, related to it as well. Has anybody spotted it at all? It's, we're actually close by. You know what's nice right now is you're looking around, right? It, it's forcing students to actually look around and be observant, you know, which is precisely one of the goals of the trail. So we'll head down to uh, 270. With this circle right here, it's interesting that they didn't fill up the space, you know, with it. Yeah, an interesting question is, what's the biggest circle that you could fit in here? You know, that you could put in there so it would be tangential, you know, here, here, and to the circle. And same with here. What thinking did they go through to make sure that this is stable? You got people standing up here. You know, you've got stuff on top here. So what have you done to make it stable? You know, is it just these arms? Is that what's holding it up? You know, what about the stairs over there? Like, how is it being held? That's more getting into physics, you know, and design and architecture. But you can at least have kids just think about it. Do any of you get this? Like, what's this about? Certainly not obvious to me. I really like this for students graphing this because it's not really obvious if there's a pattern or not, right? You know, is it linear? Is it not? So it really forces you to graph it you know, and to draw the graph and look at. So my question here is graph the cost versus the time. Find the line of best fit. How much will it cost for 72 minutes and 10 seconds? I mean, that seems about as, as odd as 61 minutes, right? Yeah, yeah. Essentially what I do when I walk is I try to be really observant. I'm curious and I try and look at the world through a mathematical lens. And for the mathematics teachers in this group, what I'm hoping is that some or all of you will do the same thing. You know, you'll start walking around as well if you're not used to doing this. And you'll be curious, you'll be observant, you'll look for things, and you'll think mathematically. You know, and you'll find your own stuff, you know, and develop your own questions, you know, based on the ones that I provided. And then you can personalize the questions and make the stuff your own, you know, as you're doing it. So that's kind of one of my big goals, is just trying to get teachers to, you know, do this kind of thing on their own, you know, and to look at it. And for you to get your students to do it as well.